and live, Ray. Technically, it is. No, it is. Okay, it's a cover. Dick Joe it's cover, a cover band. It's a cover. Don't let me All see right. no video of you singing "My Penis, My Penis." <laughs> <laughs> One dick joke I told the guys like, like my dick is like community college. <laughs> it's, a, it's the last resort for single mothers over forty-five. Oh shit! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a good joke. Uh, and then, like uh, ten years ago, <laughs> I know, but still, it's it's amazing. Uh, you did joke. All right, so Tom and Ray, they don't know. Who Tim is going to pick this week in Seiko or Bluho? I guess they'll have to wait and see. Who is Tim's hero of the week? When did it become a metal song? What the hell? <laughs> well, I was going to show the. I did have the video copy and paste in there. I was going to show you the video of the, the referee that moved the ball. Yeah, I sent that to Ray. You see that, Thomas? Who was it? Uh, it was a referee in a high school game in New Jersey, I think. Oh, the video of him like moving a football up a yard. Yeah, it looks like he was. It's a bad video, right? But turns out he was in the right. He was doing the right thing. Apparently, the chain gang was fucking shady the whole time, and um, the. It was like a fourth down, and the team like clearly made it, but the other team asked for a measurement. They're like, fine, we'll measure it. And even though everyone pretty much knew that he probably made it by at least a yard, magically the chain gang was off all of a sudden. Like that somehow the chains moved up a yard, right? Uh, they move it out, and everyone sees it as this short, right? And the, so the, fo- the refs like move it as first down because everybody knew it was a first down anyway. Just the chain somehow magically moved up a yard. So he was trying to do the right thing. So, but out of context, again, it looks fucking awful. Yeah. But then um, you realize, like, the fact that they were shady AF, and you're like, yeah, I'm good. But I feel bad for that guy because it looks about. I'm singing tomorrow. Yes, get it. Fucking sing it. What are you singing? You Creed? Get it, Kang. Sing Creed. Sing Creed. Sing Creed. Sing Creed. So this week's here of the week. Yes, do the it's baseball ball game, ball ball it's game day. Ah, damn. <laughs> speech, it's double Take the field, hear the roar of the crowd. <laughs> Come home, Marlins, be us proud. Uh, I nailed it. it. <laughs> Raise off key, I can still harmonize. Hey, I was decent. That's the worst thing I could have ever done. Yeah, Keep hoping show, okay. and dreaming. All right, yeah, so awesome. this week's hero of the week is Pat Holberg. Okay. Because he was the home plate umpire of the last um, World Series game. And according to you know, the box and the umpire scores, 100%. 100%? <laughs> he didn't miss a single call according to the computer. One hundred percent. That's why we don't need robot ums. Fuck off. <laughs> one, I mean, you know my my thoughts about the strike zone. I don't think it's act, the strike. I don't think it's. I mean, listen, it would be consistent, but I actually think that the best umpires well, are probably the best way to do. It. But here, you know, only like two or three or maybe five at most are really, really, really good at it. They're all very. They're all the best, right? However many umpires, sixty. However many umpires, there. There's no one better than them, right? But. Yeah. But only about five of them are like super, super accurate, super accurate. Like this guy, hundred percent. I, I, well, John Lipka has, I think, the I had a, he was a hero of the week earlier. He has like the highest um, percentage as far as what they say the box is, right? I don't know. I saw something yesterday that he might do challenges. I'm like, I'd rather have challenges than all than all than robot arms all together. But agreed. You got to fucking move it along though. You can't fucking have a fucking. Two minute but, challenge every time you call a strike, right? Or a ball. You can't, you got to fucking find a way to move it along. 
See, here's the thing, and that's why they're working the World Series. Like Major League Baseball yeah. looks at their yeah, regular season is, isn't fucking doing the World Series, right? So yeah, thing, so. But again, that's why you know guys like him get those gigs is because like jujitsu, like mixed martial arts, like kickboxing, yeah, there are so levels. The- to people's brains and also, those guys can pick that shit out quick also, also we forgive every single player for having an off game every single one how many players 600 700 players um more than that all together but i mean but they're all allowed to have not great games okay and they don't say they're going to place them with cyborgs you know so yet yet good point but eh, I saw a video happen. of some some college kids in Toronto made a knuckleball machine, which I curious that's how scary. it works. Yeah, that's uh, anyway. scary. Right. Well, they already have machines that can that can um um imitate every pitcher's pitches. They already have those. But knuckleball feels like it would be the most difficult one to throw. Uh, right. The most difficult pitch to throw. I don't know how the machine works. I don't even know how you can shoot a mach- have a machine that shoots a ball with no spin. It's very impressive. Anyway, um, but uh, you know, the one of all the rule changes, I really hope they don't ever go to robot arms. They're going to, but it's just, gosh, yeah, that would be shit. It's such a bad idea. It's a bad look. No, well, I mean, listen, Tass has done it, but the thing is, like, people ooing and on in the stands, the strike call, like that guy was a hundred percent. But I'm sure he got a lot of booze and shit. Because that's the fu- but if people knew that the computer was doing it, that wouldn't happen anymore. And you fucking take half the fucking fun. But I'm just, it's going to affect the quality of the entertainment, all right? In, in, in watching a baseball game. And I feel like they're not thinking that. They don't feel, they're just oblivious to the fact that that's going to affect the live experience of watching a baseball game. And they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They think it's, yeah. Manfred's made all these bad choices. So I feel like, He's going to make another bad one. And I really think this he's, is a fucking he's terrible the, decision. He's going to be the plus, death of this game if he's not Also, very, he's trying to be. I think he's he's from he's a soccer fan, isn't he? He's fucking trying to kill baseball. And then. Yeah, probably. He's an insider. Yeah, that's what it is. But the thing is, once you do it, you can't take it back, right? Because those poor umpires, if you take it back. Also, and I've shown you a video um, about somebody talking about this. If I'm doing fucking youth games when the fucking MLB has robot umps so now it's just gotten worse for me because they're used to fucking perfection or at least consi- perfect, yeah. uh, consistent yeah. consistency so me being a human being isn't okay anymore which it hardly is anyway but nah. anyway that, out- mind, buddy. that offside page is my favorite page on Facebook that yeah I mean those videos of monsters fucking yelling yeah, at referees I- and umpires <laughs> I hope they don't replace them fully. I think it should be more of a challenge. Challenge, but you get fucking one. Nah, two. unless you get it right, like, yeah, like the other two. challenge. Also, they have to figure out a way. I mean, there's ways. I mean, you have to have like someone in the ballpark, right? And they have to have something in the ear of the umpire that we fucking. There's a challenge. Fucking do one of these, and it's done in less than thirty seconds. So you can't have a fucking go to New York. Fucking no, thing. make it a flag it and shit. Make it well, a not, not, not about the calling it. I mean, like the, the info. You can't put a headset on every time there's a pitch you don't like, right? Well, I feel like there seems I'm... to be a, a replay guy in the ballpark who's watching the strike zone. And if someone challenges, there's a really quick, like less than 30 seconds, quick to the uh, home plate umpire or the crew chief that says whether it was right or not. Like, and yeah, no earpiece, anything. Just, but this uh, challenge should be done in less than 30 seconds. Because it's all you're looking at is one thing. It's not looking at all these angles. It's looking at did it say it was a ball or a strike. It should take a very small amount of time. Because if it took two minutes, like baseball's trying to go the other way, right? Baseball games this year were three three hours to six minutes total, which is down like four minutes from five minutes from the year before. But still, um, but next year pitch clock will probably in minor leagues they say it's about twenty three minutes different. So. You're talk- if they can get under three hours, they'd be perfect with that. Yeah. They they would love to be 245. They love that. Yeah. 
That's it just depends, it. though. Listen, minor league baseball games I've gone to have been a lot faster than major league games. I'd be completely fine with that. I feel yeah. like the pitch clock will be okay. It'll be okay. Unless pitchers decide to be dicks about it. Uh, um, and step off all the time, throw over to first just to be assholes. I see that happening. But who knows? But but the one that really bothers me the most is them going to all automated umpires. Also, I am biased because of umpires so many games. I feel, but there's so many guys who are so good at it. And yeah, yeah, it's a hard job to do. It is a hard job to do. I mean, they got rid of um, the linesman in tennis. They just do all hockey now, uh, which is their yeah. computer. But the different, but at least there's a line in tennis. There's a physical line. In baseball, strike zone is invisible. So it's yeah. even harder. We thought, oh, if tennis does it. We should do it. And I'm like, it's gonna, it's gonna ruin the game. I promise you. Like, I, oh my God, I just think it's just a dumb idea. I think it's just it's the wrong idea. It's the best. Yeah. You know what makes me mad? There's nothing I can do about it. It's progress, bro. That's not. It's not. It's gonna. It's gonna. Welcome to being the. Welcome to being the get off my lawn guy. I know, I know. For this uh, baseball, hundred percent. I haven't liked. And you know what? The original, originally when they expanded replay, I didn't like that either. But now it's all right. But this is different, man. This is also again, again. I think the whoever the best, and it might be this guy, it might be John Lipka. Whoever this, has the best eye, best strike zone. I, I honestly believe they're better than. I apologize, AI. I know you're going to be the overlords here soon. Uh. But, the the current the current program the current program, I believe they're better than. Do I believe they can make a better one? Yes, like I believe they can. But oh yeah, give it like another. But 10 that, that's years. what I need first. I also need number one. I don't want what we have now. I want a much more better, much more advanced program than what we have now. Oh, if we're gonna make it. Part can you imagine of stadiums in ten years? It's just gonna be like LED boring. boards you sit on. Like it's all like, oh, way. that was a bad call. No, just oh, same thing. You just sit there every pitch. Don't say a word until the ball. You can play. see the replay between your feet. It's gonna be weird. It's a human game played and officiated by peoples, and that's what we like. 